Trevor Henderson with Media Vision, a department of Cal Poly Pomona. We're here again at the West Southwest 2012 Regional EDUCAUSE Conference. Uh, it's day two here. Uh, lunch is just about to start, which is going to be a lot of roundtable discussions. And right after that, we have some poster sessions to see uh, all the great work that our universities here on the uh, region are doing. So uh, let's go see what the nitty gritty is. <laughs> Longhorns. Yeah. So it uh, looks like you got a poster here on building consensus. Uh, how big is your campus? Uh, we have 50,000 students and we have 20,000 faculty and staff. So it's no small task to build consensus on a campus that size. No small task. It sounds near impossible. Yeah. So, so take us through what exactly, it looks like you got a little bit of a game board or something here. What exactly do you guys do to uh, build consensus? Yeah, sure. So we try uh, as best as we can to basically build engagement across campus. So that means faculty, staff, and students. And the poster kind of walks through some of these different ideas. So we have IT governance in place. We have a customer steering committee. Uh, we conducted focus groups. We brought the vendors on campus, uh, you know, to be able to present directly to them. And one of the big keys was actually number six, our faculty-led hands-on training. So we actually had people from in the schools, from in the departments, actually champion the hands-on testing, and you know they would be able to you know go out there and actually you know be able to uh, you know send out invitations instead of that coming from central IT or coming from you know people on the administrative side. So that was actually one of the big things that we learned is that you know ha have the people that are closest to the people that you're trying to reach actually doing the communication. So that was one of our our, our biggest steps. Gretchen, tell me a little bit about your uh, poster session here. Uh, well, what we are looking at um, is the um, the content that we provide at the library to help students with the research process, specifically our subject guides, and we use a platform called Live Guides, um, which was created by a company called Springshare, but I think it's applicable to anyone, any kind of subject guide. Um, and what we did is we usability tested the content that we, uh, the pages that we've designed, and then also looked at the recommendations of a similar usability study that was done at the University of Washington. Um, usability tested them both and found that neither design was really working. I'm here with Joe from Stanford University. Joe, uh, can you talk a little bit about your poster session you have here? Uh, yeah, this is um, uh, a little poster about uh, some self-capture work we're doing, which is sort of the term we've come up with for screen recording. Um, so the idea is that uh, you can make short instructional videos um, to do, you know, classroom flip or to uh, add supplemental materials or replace existing supplemental materials. Are there any particular setups that have uh, seen uh, a little more popular than the rest so far? Um, you know, I think the one that we in educational technology like the most uh, uses a Windows 7 based um, ACES tablet with um, Camtasia and a microphone and a set of programmable keys to switch ink colors quickly. Um, we like that a lot because it doesn't tether the faculty members to any particular location. It's really convenient for them to just be able to take that back to their office and record a, a video or two when they have a free five or ten minutes. Um, so that's probably the most popular with us and I'm presumably the most popular with faculty as well. The biggest problem was that they couldn't establish the research context and figure out sort of what they were supposed to do. So even though we had a ton of content there for them, um, they couldn't figure out what steps to take. And so from there, I don't know, we looked at sort of theory behind uh, the research process and that um, we tried to design a guide that sort of helped them to establish context so that students could identify where they were in the research process uh, with language that they would understand, minimize the amount of content that was there to make it really targeted, um, and that's what we did. And what's been the success of this? Uh, it's, it's, it's been terrific. We actually got a standing ovation at our last customer steering committee meeting just because we had taken the time to do that. It's been very well received. And that was one of the reasons why we wanted to document it. So it, it's just been a, a kind of a model project in terms of utilizing IT governance and just building consensus on campus. Mm -hmm.